My name is Uma Pisharodi and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at Swedish Medical Center. Often pediatric gastroenterologists like myself get asked what causes belly aches in children. And to answer that, I usually say that children can get belly aches very commonly and they're, what, they're due to one of two specific causes. One, the belly ache can be a sign of an internal disease of the GI tract and once we diagnose and treat that disease, the symptom, which is the belly ache, will get, get better and go away with time. But much more commonly, belly aches in children are actually not due to a disease, and they're what we term as functional belly aches, where the GI tract is healthy and functioning, and yet there's a symptom such as a belly ache in that child. It's very reassuring to know that functional belly aches are far more common than organic belly aches, where there actually is a disease. And it's through certain signs and physical symptoms and through asking the right questions that we can determine whether a child's belly ache is an organic one due to disease or if it's functional where there's, there's no danger from that belly ache. Since belly aches can happen commonly in children, it can be hard for a parent to know when or when not to be concerned. There are some clues that a parent might find helpful. Um, one of these is the intensity of the pain. If the child is having severe pain, has stopped their normal activities, refuses to eat, has a high fever, um, has pain even in the middle of the night, these, this would be a red flag to alert your doctor about the belly pain sooner rather than later. Also the duration of the pain. If the pain, even though it's happening for several days, is short-lived, lasting less than five minutes, this is probably a more reassuring sign than pain that's going on for hours. The position is also important. When you ask the child where the pain is, if they tend to point right in the middle of the belly, around the belly button, that's probably more reassuring than if they pick one spot off to the side or on a specific uh, point other than the belly button. There are also some other specific red flags that I always ask about, and that's if your uh, child during the belly pain or around the time of the belly pain has been having vomiting, fever, diarrhea, blood in the stools, has there been a history of um, last, lack of appetite or weight loss, these would be signs that would make me more concerned about this child's belly pain. When a pediatric gastroenterologist evaluates a child who comes in with belly pain, we start by asking a lot of questions. We want to know as much as possible about that child's belly ache in terms of how long it's been there, what time of day does it seem to come on, how long does it last, what makes it get worse, what makes it get better, what types of medications have you tried. And after asking all of these questions, we will then proceed to do a thorough physical examination of the child. This will focus on the belly, but we will do a thorough um, head-to-foot examination. And this will then help us determine whether any additional testing is needed. We may choose to do some blood tests or urine tests or stool tests, and even go on to do an endoscopy, which is a test where we place a little camera inside of the intestinal tract to look for certain signs and symptoms of disease. It really depends on each individual case and how much information we have through um, the history and the physical, and we may or may not choose to do tests in all cases. And then we decide how to treat that pain. Um, if the child's pain seems to be more functional in nature, then we may uh, just choose some dietary modifications or pain medications to treat. Or if we are able to actually find a disease that's causing the child's belly pain, then we will choose the right and appropriate treatment to cure the disease or treat the disease, and then the belly ache, which is a symptom of that disease, will get better with time.